begin tonight with this Category 4 hurricane slamming into the U.S. this Sunday, making landfall just before 1 p.m. Eastern this afternoon. Okay, I'm in between two buildings. I mean, no bones about that. I want to give you a little bit better representation of, of what it's like in the city when you're not protected. So here it is. sets here locally, but across the tropical Atlantic and the main development region, we've got Saharan dust levels that are literally off the charts. As far as these colors go, you can't get any brighter. And so this means we aren't expecting any organized tropical development in the next several days, maybe even weeks, okay? of emergency in Puerto Rico. At this hour, Hurricane Fiona is slamming the island with 85 mile per hour sustained winds. The remnants of an asphalt roof blowing through the streets. The governor of Puerto Rico is calling the damage catastrophic. Much of southern Florida is already experiencing impacts from the storm as it moves closer to landfall. There have been several tornado warnings issued during the overnight hours, and we expect to see that continue today. A uh, storm of this magnitude will produce catastrophic flooding and life-threatening storm surge on the Gulf Coast of Florida, uh, and the highest risk areas are ranging from Collier County uh, up to Sarasota County. The current track uh, has the storm making landfall in Charlotte County. If you are in any of those counties, uh, it's no longer possible to safely evacuate. Uh, it's time to hunker down and prepare for this storm. Uh, this is a powerful storm that should be treated like you would treat if a tornado was approaching.